Welcome back, wonderful people. Warzone Season 5 is already taking shape and after a first day which was, I would say, quite a bit of disappointing for the easter egg hunters because we found it, uh, tons of keypads in the stadium, etc. and uh, second keypads in the bunkers, but they were still not interactable. Actually, you could interact, but you got this very annoying signal that the keypad is not active. Right yesterday, we got these keypads working. And it haven't passed a long time for community to figure it out how to solve the stadium easter egg. And in this video, I'm going to talk about details, how you can do it yourself. So stay tuned for further details. As you can see over here, myself and my boys here, uh, Kevin, Daniel and Jovan, we are going to visit a stadium over here because we find stadium very intriguing and very interesting since the season 5 uh, update and basically uh, we were reading a lot about this easter egg so people were posting on all different kind of forums, discord groups etc what needs to be done so basically the catch is with the three um key cards that are scattered around the stadium but these key cards are only at the stadium and you will see in a couple of moments the first one and don't get confused they are not in loot boxes so as you can see they're just randomly scattered in a three levels of stadium so the three levels of stadium are EL or executive level, CL or concourse level and P would be a parking level. And we actually picked in a parking level, we picked EL card, which is an executive level. And in a couple of moments, you will see where the exactly executive uh, level is. What else I wanted to say is that this Easter egg is pretty, it's pretty straightforward, but on the other hand, it could be very difficult because I assume it would be very hard for a single person or a solo player to do it alone because there's simply no time. And in order for you to obtain a full code of eight digits, you need to do all three of the rooms, secret rooms, and you need to find all three of cards, which could be, I would say, rather annoying and quite difficult. Even the people who manage to get inside uh, inside the boardroom, where you basically get a legendary um, blueprint for an Amax weapon, that's the only reward you get there. There's absolutely nothing inside the executive boardroom which is um, locked. There is nothing in particularly special in regards of the war zone lore or anything in regards of finding Victor Zakaev. So basically what you get over there is a legendary blueprint for Amax weapon. So I was saying even the people who managed to get inside the boardroom, they were actually getting one or eventually two key cards, uh, getting mm, two sets of numbers and then they were brute forcing uh, the numbers and just figuring out which could also work theoretically especially if you have two key cards if you have two if you have visited two rooms with the computers with the numbers that you will see in a couple of moments then after that you can figure it out the third uh, missing numbers also there's another obstacle in solving this uh, easter egg and it's time because plunder is now quads and rounds are finished quickly and this is we are in the executive level room and you see the symbols so every symbol represent a number but don't get fooled with this because there is no specific symbol tightened to any number so every different game uh, every symbol represents a different number so it doesn't mean that this let's say house or arrow symbol represents let's say number one so it might represent number one in one round and in second round it will represent let's say number eight so it's quite quite tricky you need at least two key cards visit two rooms and get the two sets of numbers in order for you to brute force the rest of the rest of the code the second information that's very important for this video to mention is that the second door keypads in bunkers everywhere in verdansk are now operational which means that basically you can open those doors now we still don't have codes Nobody managed to crack the code, 
But there is something very interesting that uh, people from Activision posted yesterday on Twitter. And I'm going to show that in a couple of moments. And what actually they posted on their Twitter account is a big crate box with a number. And you, as you can see, it's 8371047. So it's an eight digit number and a message on top of the crate, which says, do not open this crate until August 10th, 2020, uh, 12 p.m. ECT. Yeah. So something is going to happen on August the 10th. Either we are going to have some kind of an update or maybe the laptops are going to start working around Verdansk where we will get similar codes in order for us to crack the code for the second bunker doors. Probably in bu bunker number 11 first. So after initial disappointment at the start of the season with the Easter exit and with not working keypads, uh, the situation is getting hotter and hotter in Verdansk in regards of the Easter eggs. So the next step, this was just like the beginning, they were testing and we were testing the possibilities of breaking the, this code at the stadium and now we are about to get the real stuff in regards of the bunker. Now that's my assumption and I really hope that the roadmap of the easter eggs will go like I just said. Anyways, no matter what happens on the 10th of August, until 10th of August we will keep on uh, exploring and trying to break the code for the second door of Bunker 11 because we have a couple of hints that we got previous in a season 3 and 4 and we will try to play with those numbers to see if anything is going to happen and of course if something happens you will be first to know because we will post our findings immediately also if you found that something or if you have some ideas that could might work in Bunker 11, please uh, feel free to leave a comment in a comment section below. And even if you want to pair up and investigate these Easter eggs, and in particular Bunker 11 Easter eggs second door, then you are on the right place. Leave your uh, Activision account number and nickname in the comment section. And as soon as we are online, we will try to pair up with you and just do a little bit of investigation in and around Verdansk. It is also very important to mention that besides Bunker 11 second door keypad, we visited also Bunker number 4, Bunker number 6 and Bunker number 9. And the second door keypads are also working there, which basically means that there is something behind those doors. So doors are accessible, we just don't have codes at the moment, but I'm pretty sure that in the next couple of days community will break this mystery as well. There is also another good thing about this uh, season 5 update and the updates in regards of the easter eggs. There's no more glitching people. So don't even try to go with the ATMs or with the recon drones. Uh, the developers actually announced that uh, glitching is no more and that they put uh, an additional uh, invisible walls inside every in front of every uh, place of interest so we cannot glitch anymore which actually confirms my theory that in previous occasions and um, developers were par uh, quite annoyed with us sniffing around all of their easter eggs and all of those bunkers like bunker 1, 3 and 10 and those big uh, rockets that we actually saw right the first day when the season 4 came. Also, I have to mention one of the important things as well that you might have missed. Yesterday we issued a video, we put a live video of um, week Intel 5 or ghost missions for week 5, which are also very important uh, to complete the lore, the story. And the week 5 Intel mission is hinting on a missing armistice member that's currently hiding in or around the prison. So it's quite intriguing story and it's very interesting and they might be hinting who's coming in the mid-season update as an operator. So make sure to finish the ghost missions as well and if you need a little bit of help or extra push, check the video for the week uh, 5 intel missions. So my fellow easter egg hunters, uh, excitement is back in Verdansk and it's going to be very, very interesting next couple of weeks in the city of Verdansk in regards of Easter egg hunting. Uh, from my team, I wish you all the best. I wish you a good hunt and stay frosty.
Bye bye, until next time.